morning. Good morning. Hi, Sabrina. I'm here to talk about phone security. Now, before I start off, <coughs> like, like, what kind of security on your phone do you all have? Like, pen, pass, what do you all have? Okay. Pen, pen, yeah. All right. Well, Fran, how are we talking about the security options of pen, pattern, password, finger scanner, and um, picture password for Windows uh, 8.1 phones? Now, with the pen option, um, you can pretty much have like the four, uh, four combination, oh, a four digit password for Apple phones. And for Android, you can have like up to like, like um, whatever, um, whatever, um, uh, like how much digit you want. Like for Apple, it, yeah, it's a pretty much like a debit card uh, pen, like it's just like pretty much four digits. The security of it is medium to high security, which is pretty good, but not as well as some security options. And but it's like you also can set a, a pen for your SIM card just in case like like someone takes your phone, takes the SIM card out, and um, tries to get all your data. Which if, if there's a um, if there's a pen, uh, they need that pen to get into your uh, personal information on, on that SIM card. Now the pattern you can have up to like multiple ways with the pattern. Um, it's medium security with and plus you can have, have the option like like if there's like someone's like hiding. Well, like looking over your shoulder. So like um, like one day like my friend was um uh, like just going through his password and uh, I looked and um, I was looking in a direction but like um yeah like um every time he like every time he um did his uh path I said uh, you should take off like the path uh play show like with Patrick taken because that's his that's his uh, security risk on your part for your phone. And for, uh, I, I used to use this and then for, uh, I started. Using um, the password, that because it's more secure, that I can actually trust it more. <coughs> now speaking of the password, um, you can it's, it's like a like a lap like a laptop um, password, like on a, pretty much a basic laptop or any social media, as you said. But you can pretty much have like, like how many characters and keep like put like 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 all the special keys on it, and it's pretty good um, security option. Um, I still use it today, but not as often now. Now with the finger scanner, um, um, I noticed like with the Galaxy S5, um, it came with a finger scanner, and I think um, iPhone 6 um, has the built-in finger scanner, which is which is okay. It'd be buggy at times, so like um, it's like only you can get into it. So like um, and if you let's say like you broke your thumb and that was your um, because that was your um, your unlock, so you can so like they have you set up a backward password for it, and this is going to be a video of how you set it up and how it works. Okay, but it's time back once again, and yeah, we need to talk about this the fingerprint scanner, the Galaxy S5. Is it any good, or is it just a massive gimmick? Let's find out. Right, so I've seen a lot of people posting and writing about stuff that the Galaxy S5 fingerprint scanner is just rubbish, it never works. So I figured I'd just give you my opinion on it and show you how to actually use it as well. So I just saw that it worked the first time going into the device, but I'm going to show you how to use it properly. Because a lot of people, they do the whole, you have to do it like that, like that, um, and it kind of makes it a bit more cumbersome. Now that's not the case, I'm going to show you that today. So you go into your settings, go to finger scanner, I've currently got one registered because I've, I've done it for this video today. So I'm going to go into there. I'm just going to show you today. Now, yes, that's the standard way that everyone wants you to get into there. I'm actually just going to delete that one there. So I've completely deleted it. Now, I'm actually going to register another one. So I'm actually going to start fresh. At this point, it tells you you can only do it for your fingerprint lock into your screen lock. You verify your Samsung account or pay using your fingerprint. So that's for PayPal. So, yeah, we're okay with that one. Now, most people are following the instructions on there and going exactly down like that or down like that way, whichever way it might be. Now, if you register it sideways, it will work sideways. Yeah, believe it or not. So if you go sideways like that, you probably see, every time you do it, you get a little uh, green thing in. You will get the old one like that way. It just won't register it. That's your regards to fingerprint technology people. Sometimes it may, sometimes it may not. And that's because we're doing the whole swipe motion. It has to actually read it. So at this point, it wants to put password. If you lose your thumb, you can still get into your phone. So this one will just do a quick password. Yay, QWERTY passwords for the win. So now we actually want to put it as our lock screen. 
So when I put fingerprint for your lock screen, so now when you go out of the phone and back into it, I can only get into the phone without matching the fingerprint. Now if I go down like that, as you see it's thinking no, it won't do it. The reason for that is I've registered it going sideways. So if I go sideways with it, boom, straight to the device. So some people go, you have to use two fingers and swipe or swipe it. You don't have to do that, as I just proved there. One-handed operation, tap your button, swipe into it, and boom, you're into your phone. It quite simply <coughs> is that simple, if that makes sense. So again, you can register different things. So if you decided you wanted to, let's say if you didn't want to use it for more time, then you could just register you this finger as well. So again, we'll just go for the quick process. That one's now I think is actually still starting there as well. So if I go out of the phone and then back into it, I can use this thing up to go down like that. Alternatively, if I want to go in like this and go just with my thumb going sideways, I'm going sideways with my thumb as well. So there is a misconception that you can't use it one handed, that it just doesn't want to work. Now, now and again, it has been a bit, you know, sometimes it hasn't gone in the first time, but I've never had like a second, a third, and a fourth failure. It normally goes in the second time, guaranteed. I think it might be one side to do it for the third time. So it's not perfect, but it does work. Now, some people will say, yeah, but it should be perfect. Life's not perfect, people. That's just the way life is. Well, that's it. That is the fingerprint scanner and how to use it properly. And again, we should show you one more time. It's probably going to fail this time, but you don't have to use two hands. You can use it one-handed, swiping down, and boom, I'm into the device. Yes, that's simple. So don't always believe the hype that some people put out there and say, yeah, it's not really good. I, I love it, I think it works perfect, I've had not one issue with it. And that's it. That is my... Uh, so like pretty much like, I tried the fingerprint scare once before. It's all right, but other than that, I still prefer like the um, pen password or, or the, like, like the normal password password security. Okay, now, the one thing I noticed about Windows um, uh, Windows 8.1 phones, like, that has a slide, like, pre your password, like, pretty much, like, anybody can figure it out. Because there's only, really, like, like, you tell by, by the picture, like, on the right, like, the right screen, um, you can actually see, like, there's only, like, three dots you can move around. Like, pretty much anybody can figure it out, like, even, like, a, even, like, a center could probably, probably figure it out without even trying. And plus, um, and plus, like, um, like, the, like, that's, like, the reason why I don't, I like that um, a Windows phone because they're because because they pretty much like like don't uh, like mainly care about their securities for their users. And for you, know, I'm gonna play half this video and that will um, pretty much show you to use uh, some of the the factory um, the factory first um, settings for the um, for the phones. Our mobile devices are becoming more and more important in our everyday lives. We use them to store everything from credentials for social media to our email and chat services. Not only that, some of us even use them as our everyday wallet. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now. Here are a few ways that you can secure your Android powered device from unauthorized users. This is my Nexus 4. I'm rooted and I'm running CyanogenMod 10.2 nightly, which is Android 4.3. So yours may be slightly different. I'll show you some of the features that this has that yours may not. What you're looking at here is my lock screen. It shows me how many notifications I have, some signal status, battery strength, who my carrier is, and a uh, lock screen widget in this case, the time and the date, what my battery charge is and whatnot. Now I can slide to unlock and with this one, I can slide it and just unlock it to my home screen, unlock it to messaging, to music, to my dialer, or right over to the web just with a simple swipe. And that's not just me, that's anyone. So if I want to go right over here, there's my home screen, and I'm in. There's really no security to this. It's just kind of keeping me from accidentally dialing someone on accident or going through uh, messing up who knows what, just by having it in your pocket and getting inadvertent screen taps. So let's go ahead and see what real security options we have. I'm going to pull down the notification tray there and go into settings. We'll scroll down to security. Now yours may look a little bit different than this, depending on what version of Android you're using, if it's uh, HTC versus Samsung versus LG or whatnot. So take this information as a starting point, just know that yours may be a little bit different. 
this is what we're focusing on right now. It is the screen lock. And there's lots of different things that you can use here. You can do none, which means you turn the power on and it's on. You don't have that accidental butt dial protection like I showed you with the slide to unlock, which is the next one. So here is my slide. That's all it does. No options. You just select it. There it is. Next one up is face unlock. We're going to come back to that in just a minute. Pattern. Pattern is a really, really nice feature. You basically get a series of dots on your screen. You connect the dots, and if you get the pattern right, it unlocks your device. Your pattern can be relatively simple. It can be very complex. It's up to you. The default is a 3x3 three three pattern. Some devices will let you do a 4x4, four four, and as you can tell, this version of CyanogenMod lets me do a 6x6. Six six. That's crazy. <coughs> so let's do a 5x5. Five you can see how many dots we've got here. We'll go ahead and draw a pattern. And I'm just going to do something basic. And hopefully I can remember this. You set it up once. You uh, come back in here. You uh, see, I've forgotten already now. I, I don't remember where that was. It tells me that I didn't get that pattern correct. So let's go back. We're going to start all over again. Come back in here. We're going to do a pattern. We're going to do five by five. I'm just going to come in here and do that way, just like that, continue, that way, just like that. Obviously not a very secure pattern, but maybe a little bit more secure than just a three by three. You can see how many more dots that I've got. <coughs> we'll confirm that. There we go. Everything's awesome. We'll turn that off. I've got a little bit of a, uh, a timer set, so it's not going to lock for about 10, 15 seconds. So we'll just pass some time here and then turn it back on. There is now our pattern. So we can do stuff like that. Uh, that's not it. We can do this. That's not it either. And eventually, it's going to lock us out. This is a very basic way of keeping people that aren't authorized to use your device from using your device and still let you do that. Now, there are some options that you can use here on your pattern. You can make the pattern visible, which is the default, or make it not visible. So people looking over your shoulder are not going to be able to see what you're doing. If you want to see the pattern error, like you saw there, where I scribble on the screen and it showed me, no, this is actually what you swiped, not the correct pattern, but something else. That's what that does. I like having that on just because sometimes it's nice to know where you thought you were going and what it actually did. Show pattern dots. Again, this may vary based on your device. So if you don't want to see the dots at all, there you go. And then automatically lock five seconds after sleep. So I told you it was like 10 or 15. It was really only five. And if you want the power button to automatically lock, you can do that versus just having the screen time out. If you want the power button not to instantly lock and have it fall back to this five seconds right there, that's what that is for. Next up is arguably a little bit more secure, and to get to it, we're going to have to put in our previous security to change it. Now, that in itself is some security, but if you've forgotten your pattern, for example, it's going to be a little bit interesting. So the next thing we want to do is pin. Pin is very simple. We're going to do one, two, three, four. That sounds like a combination that somebody would have on their luggage. I'm going to go ahead and continue. We'll put the code in again. Again, not very secure here. We'll say OK. There we go. Power off. We've got to wait that obligatory five seconds. And then we'll turn it back on. And it's asking us for the pin. One, two, three, four. And then enter. Next up is a password. We're going to choose our password as pocket now and hopefully I spelled that right because I can't look at the camera in the screen all that well but if not we'll uh, see I, I don't even know where I am because uh, I so pretty much you know where I'm going with this so pretty much like our phone is pretty important to us with the security so like if you don't have a security right now like, you know, if just like the standard swipe that's not pretty nice pretty secure because anybody the screen just like like unlock your phone, just swipe the screen and be unlocked because they have full access to your phone. I, uh, I, uh, and that will be my presentation.